to Google and I'm like, oh, oh God. I want to see. You could I don't want to rest it. I know, but I didn't want to see child porn. But I just wanted to see, like, okay, let me just pretend. Yeah. Let me pretend like I'm a pedophile for a sec. Okay. By the way, just for the record, <laughs> the police. I have nothing to do with this. I didn't know this. Like, you can literally get arrested for. Saying I know. Let, let me let me finish. Sorry. So I typed in naked baby. First of all, I don't understand why anybody would be turned on by that. But that's the first good thing you said. But. They were sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, back to the Instagram. Um, so I look at this. Hi. Uh, I wanted to play that clip in full. I mean, that moment especially in full. <sighs> Just for context. Because that seems to be missing <laughs> nowadays. I cannot believe that I am having to make this video. I cannot believe that this is happening I, uh, I'm going to start by saying I am not a fucking pedophile. I, Shane Yaw, my real name, go on record saying I am not a fucking pedophile. Got it? Great. Here's my statement. Because everybody's saying, Shane, make a statement. There's my statement. I'm not a fucking pedophile. It's disgusting that people are saying I'm a fucking pedophile because of some shitty ass fucking jokes from six years ago on a podcast. <sighs> now let me explain a little bit more. Um, I'm not going to... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to apologize first. I am sorry that I used to make really shitty fucking jokes. I am sorry that I was so fucking like insecure and like playing this character of this guy who's like crazy and will say anything and like tries to make people laugh by shocking them. That was my thing. That was what I did on YouTube. A lot of people now don't know that. If you started watching my videos more recently, you might not know that. But back in the day, 2000, 2008 to 2012-ish, maybe 2013, that was my thing. I, I thought it was so... I loved the feeling of making somebody shocked and laugh because they couldn't believe what was coming out of my mouth. I wasn't confident enough to make smarter jokes. I was making the easy jokes. I was playing crazy stereotypical characters. I was doing shit that was racially insensitive. I was doing shit that was homophobic. I was doing shit that could be considered fat shaming. I was doing some fucked up like comedy stuff that I'm not proud of. Like, hmm. I've changed so much as a person and as a creative and a director and a writer and stuff. Like, the stuff that I was saying back in those, back in those times, I would never say now. Ever. Like, because I don't think that's funny. Listening to that clip just now, I didn't laugh. I didn't think it was funny. But when you hear that clip, you hear my co-host laughing, which is, was my goal. I wanted to always make her shocked and laugh. That was like, that was our thing. Our thing was like, oh, I'm going to say something super crazy to get her to be like, oh my God, Shane, you can't say that. Like, that was our thing. And if you listen to the podcast for years, you would know that. <sighs> that clip started circulating today. But they cut it up. Basically, there's a clip right now called Shane Dawson is a pedophile, and then it says proof. First of all, that's illegal. You can't say somebody's a pedophile and say you have proof when they're not. That's, there's a lot of legal words I don't know, but I think there is a word for that. Defamation of character? I don't know. I'm not on CSI. I don't know. But it seems illegal to me uh, to call somebody a fucking pedophile knowing that they are not, or at least not having actual proof. So before I get into that clip, I want to start with their other piece of proof that when I saw it, I assumed that people would be like, oh, this is a joke. Like, oh, this whole video is a joke. Because one of their pieces of proof was taking a picture of me and Ryland, my boyfriend, and then a picture of me and Lisa, my ex, circling their faces and saying, they look like babies. They have baby faces. Shane's a pedophile. Gonna let that sink in. That was one of their pieces of proof for calling me something as disgusting as a pedophile. 
So of course, when the clip started circulating on Twitter, they would cut that part out because the person posting it on Twitter would be like, that's crazy, let's cut that out. You know what I mean? So like, that's where my head's at. <laughs> now let's talk about the actual clip. So six years ago-ish, I probably should have looked that up. Let me, let me get an exact date. Okay. I don't know. It, a long time ago, I think 2012-ish. Yes, 2012-ish. This was from an episode of my podcast, right? So in the podcast, I'm telling a story about a little girl I saw in real life who was like, had makeup on and like the whole shabam. She was like a dance mom type of vibe. I don't know exactly what to call it, but that's what it was, and she was on Instagram, and she was posting, like, really, like, creepy selfies, and her dad was helping her, and it was fucking creepy, and it was, like, weird, right? So, of course, I take that story, and I talk about it on the podcast. Now, of course, what they didn't also show in that video clip is me talking about how fucking creepy it was, but then I started making jokes about it, because that's what I did back then. I would make crazy jokes. That sucked. So I was saying, you know, well, she was sexy. But then right away, I'd be like, I'm just kidding. Of course, when they posted that, they would cut out the I'm just kidding. Or, for example, they're saying, oh, Shane talked about Googling naked babies, which, by the way, I never did. Like, I was making a joke and telling a story and lying and being like, well, I Googled naked babies. Of course I didn't Google fucking naked babies. I'm busy. I don't have time to Google fucking naked babies. <laughs> and that's gross and weird. But I made the joke. And then, of course, I said... First of all, I said, I wasn't looking for child porn. They cut that out. Then I said, after that, I don't know why anybody would be turned on by babies. And they cut that out. Oh, but of course, they cut all those out, added scary music, Google image search pictures of little girls, which is creepy, by the way, whoever edited that video, and made it seem like this creepy conspiracy, but not even a conspiracy, because they said it was a fact. They said Shane Dawson is a pedophile in the title. So I was like, I'm, I need to talk about this because I talk about child molesters in Hollywood a lot on my channel. It's something I'm very passionate about. Um, and I'm not going to turn this into like a Me Too moment or like a feel bad. I'm not going to turn this into that because that's not what I'm trying to do with this. Um, but you guys know, I've talked about it so much on my channel. I was molested. You know this. I'm passionate about it. I'm passionate about shedding light on the fact that there are people in Hollywood that have molested kids and have been arrested for it and are still working in Hollywood. That's proof. And that's fucked up. And that's what people should be focusing on. But instead, they're focusing on a YouTuber who made a stupid joke and calling him a pedophile. Like, to me, that seems uh, not only crazy, but also distracting from the real issues that are going on right now, right under our noses. But whatever. So I think that's why it hurts the most, is having my name put next to the word pedophile is actually, like, the most triggering and the most heartbreaking thing I've literally ever seen. I've been called everything. I've been on YouTube for a long time. Um, and I think I, I'm rambling, and I think I've already said this, but for those of you who might be new or who might have just started watching or something, and you're probably like, oh my god, Shane, I just heard this thing, and I listened, and you were talking about sexy girls and laughing, and blah. I, I'm making this video more for you guys, because people who have been watching me for a long time know like how much I've grown and changed, and how much my videos have changed, how much my humor has changed. I would never do that now. Ever. So I am so sorry if that triggered you, or offended you, or hurt your feelings. It triggers me listening to that clip. I haven't listened to that clip ever because I recorded it and then I didn't listen back. So listening to me joking about it fucks me up. And it makes me go like, oh my God, like what the fuck was I doing? Literally, what the fuck was I doing? But I look back at a lot of my old videos and I say, what the fuck was I doing? Most of them. So I don't even know what else to say. I'm not a pedophile. I made a lot of bad decisions as far as joke telling, storytelling, um, trying to make people laugh with shocking them. I mean, there's so many things I've done in the past that I'm like embarrassed of, ashamed of. 
and I've lost so much because of it. Like, this isn't new. This isn't a new thing for me. <laughs> if you've been around for a while, you know that I've done this before. Um, I've apologized many times for videos, and I've genuinely meant it, and I've changed my videos because of it. This is the first time I've had to, like... This is the first time I've literally had to tell people I'm not a pedophile. That's a first. And that feels like fucking shit. So, I'm sorry for making offensive jokes. I'm sorry for... Hmm. I don't know. I, like, I, I am sorry that these are making people uncomfortable, but also it's very out of context. When you listen to the full thing, it's still, like, shitty and creepy and bad jokes, but... It's not me being a pedophile. This is not me. This is not proof of me being a pedophile. Me dating people who have clean faces and saying they're baby faces is crazy. And like, I mean, I'm sure Lisa is shook. I'm sure she's like, they said I had a baby face. <laughs> it's all too much. Um, so that's where I am. It's also hard right now because I'm in such a good place. Like I... I've been in such a bad place before. You guys know that. And right now, specifically, I feel like myself. I feel like I'm being authentic. I feel like I'm being the real me. I'm with. I'm showing my boyfriend. I'm. I'm showing my family more. I'm showing the real side of me. I'm not making crazy offensive jokes. I'm talking to the camera like a normal person rather than doing the old like. <laughs> so, right now, it just sucks that this is like a thing because I'm like, this was six years ago. And I'm so proud of, like, especially this week. I'm so proud of the videos that went up this week. Like, that's another thing that hurts, is they are, like, contacting Sophie's family and, like, kids I've worked with family and sending them this link. And, of course, the families are like, what the f This is not, like, come on. But either way, it's like, I literally found a talented girl online, brought her out, had her record a song with me, made two videos with her. She got hundreds of thousands of subscribers overnight because of you guys, but also because of the video that I made with her. And they're flipping that on me saying I'm a pedophile because I helped someone. Fuck you, whoever did that. That's so fucked up. Like, <sighs> it's just like, I can't. All right, I think I'm done. Um, I'm proud of what I'm making. I'm proud that I've grown up. I'm proud that I don't make crazy jokes anymore. I'm proud that I am, I've changed my channel to be more about good things and cool things and helping people and not just doing dumb shit or blowing up houses or whatever the fuck. Like, the fact that I posted videos this week that are about me helping a young girl in the music industry the fact that those did well and the fact that you guys enjoyed those is so cool and so awesome. Like, that doesn't, like, years ago on YouTube, I had to do the craziest shit to get views. Crazy stuff. And now I get to just help people and, like, be myself and hang out with my friends and my family. Like, that's just so cool. And I don't want this to fuck that up. So, I don't know. That's my story. And, um... Thank you guys for being on this journey with me. I know. I know. If you've been here for a while, we've had this before. Um, but this is, a, this, this is next level. This is actually really fucked up. And I'm really sad that people are actually calling me a pedophile on Twitter. Like, I don't. I. Okay. I love you guys. I'm going to go. I hope you're enjoying the videos this week. I hope that you are. I don't know having a good week and uh, hopefully I don't know I'm gonna go back to editing more videos